So if you've ever purchased a camera kit and you've gotten a memory card like this, this is actually not that great of a card that you wanna use when it comes to video. Yeah, they'll boast and say that they can record full HD or even 4K video files, but when it comes to using that with the Sony ZV-E10, it's a problem. The Sony ZV-E10 is an awesome little camera, but it has requirements when it comes to what memory card should you use. Really, it comes down to the size. You have SDHC, which stands for high capacity, and HD XC for like extreme capacity. When you have those 32 gigabytes or lower, it's gonna break your footage up into four gigabyte files, which means if you're doing a 30, 45, even an hour long podcast or show, then you're running into the risk of having this file broken up into four gigabytes. Even though the camera will continuously record, the files on the memory card will break up. So here's what you actually need to be using. The Sandisk Extreme Pro and the Sandisk Extreme memory cards have worked for me tremendously over the last five years. And honestly, it's the best card for for the best bang for your buck and they're kind of on sale right now so if you're seeing this video as soon as it drops you may want to pick one up but these cars are amazing they even have some weather sealing and protection so if you are ever you know walking and maybe the floor is wet or it's raining or something like that your card falls these are protected and that's actually some of the ways with cheaper cars that i've fried them uh, in the past because they don't have that kind of protection and it's also good when you're traveling and going through you know you know tsa and all that extra other stuff but you want to get something that's 64 gigabytes or at least better one because you're doing video but you don't want to break those files up. So 64 gigabytes and higher will get you into that SDXC realm, but I highly recommend at least 128 gigabytes on the SanDisk Extreme or SanDisk Extreme Pro memory cards and 256 gigabyte if you're getting fancy and you're doing a lot of video recording. It'll just get you over for a tremendous amount of time. They are fantastic. And quick pro tip, if you're gonna be using the SanDisk cards for video, I highly encourage you to pick up the SanDisk memory card readers. They have this one, a USB 3.0, as well as USB-C. That way you get the fastest read speed, getting that data from your card into your computer versus some of the other knockoff stuff that you get online. This will get you the fastest speeds that that card can do. So if you're just picking up the Sony ZV-E10 and you got your memory card and some accessories, but you're kind of struggling with setting it up, there's a video popping up on the screen right now that'll walk you through how to set this up. Every Every menu and every setting to change when it comes to video settings for the Sony's DVE 10.